Hi, my name is Nomalangam Sali Moses and I'm a life balance expert. Today I'm here with my good friend and buddy Debbie Peterson and we are going to be covering the seven steps to building your confidence. Debbie's a confidence expert and I'm going to let her introduce herself. How are you doing today, Debbie? I'm good, Noma. How are you today? Excellent. So I want us to get us uh, to get it right. So can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Sure. I'm Debbie Peterson, and I'm the founder of Getting to Clarity, and I help midlife women, the fed-up midlife woman, discover her purpose with confidence and clarity. Excellent. Um, so where our worlds kind of meet is, you know, I'm a life balance expert. I help entrepreneur women uh, build businesses while uh, balancing marriage and motherhood. And I thought that it was an excellent thing for Debbie and I to talk about how to build your confidence because every woman needs to know how to live her life confidently. So today we'll start with um, step one, which again is um, Debbie's thing. So I'll let you tell us what step one is, Debbie. All right, step one to building confidence is be the best you. So often women will compare themselves to other women and think that it's something that they need to keep up with. So when they think of confidence, they really need to think of what confidence is to them. What is it that they want to achieve by having more confidence? So, for instance, it's, it's their journey, not anyone else's, and they need to remember that in and how they set themselves up in achieving more confidence. Um, excellent. I actually really agree with you, Debbie, because one of the things that I did when I was building the M3 balance system, the M3 balance system is to help women build marriage, motherhood, and money making, is I emphasize that it's my balance and each woman needs to find her balance. And I like the way you put it, that every woman needs to find her own. Um, so what other little nuggets um, can you add to uh, finding your best you in terms of building your confidence? Well, interestingly enough, if you had a group of women and you said, uh, give me five words for success, and you had each participant write down their own five words, whatever success means to them, and you pulled the room, it would be highly, highly unlikely that everyone would have the exact five words because words are our own labels. It's what it means to us. Right. So that's part of being the best you personally. But even professionally, so many new entrepreneurs go into the market and see someone else doing that which they want to do. And it causes them to uh, shrink rather than expand. And so being the best you also relates to your business in that you are unique. So you were born an original, not a copy. You have a voice. You have something to contribute. So use your voice and contribute. Be the best you in your business. And don't hide your light under a bushel, so to speak. Uh, you know, I can definitely relate, you know, um, I like to think I'm not midlife yet, but um, <laughs> I can still definitely relate to what you're saying because, um, you know, just in my short 30 something years on earth, um, I've been married for 10 years now, I've gone through phases where I really thought I wanted to work outside of the home and killed myself doing that because I wanted to climb that corporate ladder, but it exhausted me and I didn't have enough time left for my home life. Um, then I went through another phase where I thought, okay, I'm having a baby, so I'm going to abandon everything else and just focus on this. That almost killed me too, but in a different way because I was so depressed. Um, so it is correct that you do have to find your own way. And I did eventually find that where I thrive is when I'm doing everything that I love, as long as it's the three most important things. I love building my business. Um, I love being married and I love my kids. And that's where I feel most confident because I'm doing me and I'm doing it the way that I want to do it. So I can definitely relate to your message. Um, and I'm that's open a great to more way nuggets. to have balance. Thank you. I'm open to more nuggets, Debbie. Well, I would say that women also need to keep in mind that confidence is contextual. So you may have a great deal of confidence at home, but then when you get out, uh, maybe it's networking, maybe it's in the business environment, you know, you tend to not be as confident. And, and that's okay. You know, it just, it kind of depends where you're at and then you know where you need to grow. And, you know, just keeping that in mind that it's not having that 
excellent or excelled level of confidence at every area in your life. I mean, you're going to have places where you're more comfortable and other places where you're less comfortable. And you can learn from each of those areas. That is absolutely true. So you can actually learn more about yourself depending on how confident you are in what context. Um, exactly. Right. Because I would say that, you know, being um, educated and well-trained and having a career, I felt extremely confident in the workplace because I felt that I had the knowledge and the experience and I had a proven track record. Um, but in the home, I didn't um, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I had a baby and I had, um, other than reading a few pregnancy books, I really didn't have that confidence that it um um, that I had when I was in the workplace. So I can definitely relate to that. Um, however, it, it, it was a way for me to really grow um, and to learn more mm -hmm. about myself. So one thing I can definitely agree with you is, you know, as you build your confidence, um, you really do grow as a person and you learn more about yourself. Stretching yourself is so important in confidence. And so, for instance, you know, what you said about having a child, it was the same thing for me. When I, when I had my son, he was actually a preemie. So he wow. was six weeks early, and he was this little bitty thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was so afraid. Uh, it was just a whole new level of confidence because this is an arena I had never participated in before. Right. You know, but as time goes on and you learn, you become more confident. So it's really having a little bit of that compassion with yourself and allowing yourself to grow and expand and not to set your expectations so high that you're stressing yourself out. Right. Um, and, you know, I want our audience to know that you and I um, have a relationship where we keep each other accountable for our goals and uh, building our businesses. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I absolutely appreciate you about, Debbie, is you do encourage um, me and other women to really be kind to ourselves and have some compassion for ourselves. Um, even while we're pushing and building and what have you, we do have to take that time to realize that we're doing our best. And just as your first step to confidence says, um, as long as you're being your best you and you have mm -hmm. friends like you and business partners and buddies like you uh, who are keeping you accountable for the things that um, you said you're going to do, I think you're on the good track, wouldn't you say? I would, and I would also say likewise. I, I get so much out of my relationship, and I'm very grateful for it. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Um, I'm going to let you get the last word in. Um, that was an excellent nugget, and just so we're clear, the first step, which is the first of seven steps, and we're going to do um, the series, which I'm already enjoying and excited about, um, is the seven steps to building your confidence, and the first step that you've outlined is just being your best you. So I'll let you get the last word, Debbie. All right, so I'm going to give a tip. If there's one thing that I can encourage women to do in relation to being their best you is to figure out what that is. Spend some time, you know, maybe with a journal or some quiet time and figure out how you're going to stretch yourself, what the best you is, what is it that you are striving for, because you can't hit a bullseye without a target. So in other words, you have to name it to claim it. So spend some time considering what that is for you in building your confidence. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Um, and um, I'm glad you're the lady from getting to clarity because that's what you've just basically <laughs> defined. <laughs> um, you know, just be clear about what it is you're striving for and then get on and do the work. Um, uh, so, again, I just want to say um, this is Debbie Peterson, and I'll let Debbie let us know exactly what she does um, and what her expertise is. I am Debbie Peterson and the founder of Getting to Clarity. So I support the fed up midlife woman in discovering her purpose with confidence and clarity. And for more clarity information, you can go to www.gettingtoclarity.com or find me on Facebook. Great. And of course, I'm Noma Langham Sally Moses, your life balance expert. And I'm the founder of healthyblackwoman.com and successfulblackwoman.com, where you can find more information, blogs and articles about how to live your best life and, and have a healthy and balanced life. Thank you for being with us. Until next time. Thank you, Noma. Thank you, Debbie. See you soon.